I've constructed a door that'll allow your mind to get out of the simulation and back into your body. Head toward it. Right. So what's the deal with this Zin invasion, Kitty? The good news is they didn't get everybody. Just a whole bunch of people. According to what I've been able to decipher, the simulation is designed to house the best and the brightest specimens from various worlds. The best and brightest from an entire planet? How big is this thing? Big. But they haven't gotten to all of Earth yet. Just the major cities. Last I heard, Oleg was up at Camp David. That area doesn't look like it's been hit yet. Wait. Where am I in the real world? But I'm mucking about with my body. It's... in a safe place. Once you're free, I'll pick you up at the landing platform. Wrong door. Ah, oh, cheers. Well, I think I'm terrible. Can you quit being a baby and just walk in? Look, lady, we're doing this in my time. No, you're not. <laughs> I swear every time I go 
come home and tell, what'd you bring me? How come I never to go on any raids? I got the same problem. I never get to just sit down and relax without being pestered by the missus. Hey, this is human! Good time to show up, Kitsy. situation, but I urge you to turn back. Let 
Let me take the stick. I'm getting us out of here. Gee, Kenzie, thanks for saving my life. Why, thanks, boss. I love being appreciated. Boss, I'm the president now. When did you turn into such a jerk? Surprise, Kenzie. I've always been an asshole. Thank you. I mean it. You're not wearing pants. This just got weird. A little bit. Can I fly now? Knock yourself out. Why'd you save Keith David before me? I, uh, passed by him on the way out. How, pray tell, did you get out? But let's just focus on flying, shall we? Too right. Kinsey, does this ship have a radio? Radio signals bounce around space for- Oh yeah, this is my jam! We're not really leaving the others, are we? Hell no. But if we're taking the fight to Zinyak, we'll need all the help we can get. Kinsey, can you get in touch with Oleg? Yeah, we should be in range. Huh. I always thought Nightblade was just a vampire show. Oh no, my friend. It is the essence of drama. Hey, you need to take that? You know anyone with the 217 area code? Is that St. Louis? Mm, probably tell Marketer. Oof. Ignore. Voicemail. You want me to leave a message? <laughs> it's all gone. Well, I'd say this was a productive day. You're a fucking monster. Oh, don't act surprised. I told you this would happen. You killed seven billion people. Whoops. We're done talking. He's not getting away with this. You're goddamn right, he's not. Kinsey, can you use this thing to place me back in the simulation? Yeah, I think I should be able to... Do it. Wait, you want to go back in there? You can't kill Zinyak plugged into a computer. I can kill a lot of people with a computer. You? Sure. You need help setting the DVR. If taking over a small part of the simulation led you to me, taking over the whole damn thing has to do something good. You don't even know what will happen. She probably does. The president is right. Whenever the simulation is disrupted, I have a small window to work my way inside the Zen security network. The more it's disrupted, the more time I'll have to map out Zinyak's mothership. I can identify structural weakness, locate where they're keeping our friends... And find Zinyak. Yeah. All right, let's do this. When historians look back on the fall of the Zin Empire, this will be the defining moment. An act that was supposed to demoralize, galvanized. And a course was set that the Saints could never back down from. But even more monumental is this. If the Earth was not destroyed, pragmatism would have won over desperation. And the Saints would never have been reunited with the most dangerous man in all of history, Johnny Gat. 
but ever as always I'm getting ahead of myself. Like all good stories, the second act begins with a call to action and the building of a robot. <laughs>